so we can't talk to her with anything that we have. But well, we could go to a hotel room now. Now there's nobody here. Oh, oh god, the bellboy's here. What are you doing here? Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, uh, thanks. Why are you here? Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, I'm not. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gateway's rep, as they say. Huh? The rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. Oh no. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. We can charge a premium for this room, of course. It will be great for our business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Ms. May hasn't been charged with murder. I too will become famous. Bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honoured guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. You can bring me an iced coffee. Thank you. Let me examine the room thoroughly now. The screwdriver, for instance. There's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Ah! Please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. I need, to, I need him out of the room so I can do that. Vars is expected, no good with flowers. Know that. More still life painting, we've already seen this, nothing new. The window. Nice weather again today, I can see the fan call law offices of course. Ah yes, we plan to install a telescope on that window of course. Uh, you know the offices across the way are not an attraction. They're still going to be like actually in service and used. I'd like you to bring me a sandwich, uh, tea, and for you to fuck off till I leave. <laughs> That's it, yes. I'd like you to put it right there, on the table, and then go away. You. Be gone. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes to view a kill. Uh, just kidding, sir. Ho ho ho. By that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Just realised what a terrible idea that is. A bottle and the two glasses on the table still. Why hasn't he cleaned them up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous. The talk of this hotel's industry. Yeah. Simple bed, it's been recently made, nothing eye-catching here. Okay. Let's talk to him. About Miss May. Oh, her. Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. About the man with her. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. Zora is, is deep into this now, isn't he? I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. But what you're saying is you're also a murderer? Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I think this dude wants to be an artist or something. Oh, yeah. There we are, in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Interesting. A photo, huh? Could you tell me about the hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose we add a subtitle. A subtitle. The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Hmm. Let's talk to him about some of this stuff. I'm sorry, I couldn't... Th uh, I could think about... Uh, all I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. 
I wonder if he knows what this is, though, the glass. I'm sorry, uh, blah, 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 okay, no. Nope. I was really hoping this would have been something like, you know, oh, those glass, it's like, wait a minute, that's one of our bowls or something, and it's like, oh, really, so it came from here. Hmm, what was it doing in the office? No. May I request to go to the Gosberg office? We'll go there, yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll get round it all. I'm gonna go around several times to make sure I'm very thorough in these type of games. <laughs> I'm gonna go around everywhere several times in a row. I just wanna make sure I get everything. All right. There we go. So there's nothing we can do here then. Let's move on to Gosberg first. The picture is gone. What? He said he'd never part with it. Looks like Gosberg is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. I wonder why. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... Was it Fisherman? Or was it, was it himself, Marvin? I don't know if we ever knew who it was a pic what it was a picture of, did we? Did he tell us what it was a picture of? I don't think he did. He just said he was very proud of it. But there was water, I remember now. There was something about the crashing of the wave, so it was probably Fisherman. Wasn't it a very memorable paint? Uh, it wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. It was definitely the fisherman then, right. Check absolutely everything. Expensive looking mahogany shelves, blah blah blah. Funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. There is a picture here though, interestingly enough. Hello? What is this? Old photos. There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Why do I get the feeling that that's Mia and Maya's mother? I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Look at this guy's hair colour. Oh my god, he's wearing pink as well. Pink! Oh my goodness. Why would we swap them? Do you, do you not have the ability to carry more than one photograph, Phoenix? Well, my pocket's full now, you see. It has a photo in it. Couldn't possibly squeeze another one in there. I'll come back for that one later then. We'll, we'll, we'll come back for that. So we've got a case number, DL6 incident. We can probably go and look at, um, at the records in the office for that. All right, let's just make sure that none of this is different. This is all the same. Back to the office. Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. All right. The penny gonna drop yet about this. The sky is blue. So am I. It isn't.
All the cases the chief worked on are filed here. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. An old movie poster, apparently, blah, blah, blah. We have to check that out. Okay. So I can't check the records. EL6 Incident Exhibit A. No, no, that's fine. Um, we've still got plenty I can do. I just need to... Uh, check everything. You know, actually, I think what we'll do... Is go back here first. We'll take that other photo. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I need to, uh, to show this to the bellboy. Hey, Lava King, internet is still dying, but you'll try to be here until it's dead. No problem, I hope your internet sorts itself out. You've played this case. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so, let me present this to him. And I bet this is the guy. I mean, obviously, um, the other lawyer left this here as a clue for us, right? Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Uh, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that's the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? Uh, it's not necessary. This guy was way too excited. I think we should, though. Let's give him his moment. Have him write it. Go on. Fill your boots, lad. Sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. I gotta just hurry up and write it. Describes the man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. Submitted into the court record. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. We can use that on her now. And we can show her um, him the, uh, sorry, her the record as well. Alright. Nothing else we can talk to. Let's go to this. You again. Can't you take the hint and stay gone? Nope. Hey, the only reason I'm coming back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. Oh, that does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. No! Here we go, it died again. Oh no! Right, let's show her this. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. Where did you... Ah! That reaction. That's him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? You forgot where. And how. But that doesn't begin with WH, but whatever. Is him? This is the man who stayed with you in the hotel room the night of the murder. No. No, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof it was him, hmm? Yeah, proof, show me proof. So close. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. <laughs> Press hard. <laughs> Such as the man you checked in with, who was the most definitive with this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Spill it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluffing. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. Oh, savage. 
If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have uh, been witness to the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Oh, sorry. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White. Oh my god, these names. It's April May with Mr. Red White. President of the Information Gathering Conglomerate, Blue Corp. Hence the wiretap. Red White. Information Gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. We need the other photo now. I've got to go back and show this and say, you mean her? This will be uh, Mia and Maya's mother. It's okay. I just want to ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded, because it wouldn't have been useful in court anyway. <laughs> Alright. Is there anything else we can talk about? Nope. Alright, let's... Let me just go back and try this for science. <gasps> no, the picture's gone! Oh, Gosberg's here. Ahem! That old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You again! Hello, Mr. Gosberg. Well, well. You were quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial. There. Reminded me of myself when I was in my youth. I guess something got passed down through uh, Mia, maybe? It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Okay. I apologise. Huh? I... It was uh, a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well, I... Spit it out, Gosberg. Appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information now. Alright. Yeah, look, the picture's gone. Cleared up. Damn it. Oh well, it might not have been important. So, you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it was just... Uh, Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for that girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? Hmm? I asked before, but why did you refuse to request a defence? I, I think I have a right to know. Hmm, a right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. Okay. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. So that painting! Uh, the other day I'm sure there was a big pretentious looking painting on the wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know the, the, the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, oh, yes, well... I got rid of it. Quite tired of the thing, really. I uh, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. You sold it? I'm not sure I'd buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something ha else happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of the accursed painting. I didn't. I... Mm. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Okay. Something to inspire him. What about this picture you left for me? Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once. 
I'm sorry uh, to have taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know who is this man. He was most likely in April May's room the night of the murder. <gasps> What's that you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? What has him so flustered, I wonder? I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. He's fallen silent as a stone, a rather large stone. I guess I should return that photo. Photograph returned to Mr. Gosp uh, Grossberg. Oh no. Hmm. Well, that was. I was hoping we'd keep hold of that. one last look through here first. See if maybe... All the cases are filed here. Are some of the files missing? No, I'm imagining things. Alright, blue cop. There's the painting! He's got a Riddler trophy look. <gasps> he played Batman Arkham Knight as well. Interesting. What's with these surreal, with all the surreal decor? Welcome. Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What? What the? Oh my goodness. Your name. What's your name? I was just in inquir inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably. Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have, uh, I have uh, intimated you wished. Uh, God, my. Uh, perhaps I have intimidated you with my gigantesque vocabulary. Oh my goodness! What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings uh, bring me into contact with the elite of the elite, so I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. What a fruitcake, my goodness. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Let's examine the room first. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My, my, this is quite the thing. It's modelled on my body, see? Well, does it a sleek rounditure not inspire you? But you have a table attached to your head too? I don't see that. Try not to draw attention to it, though. So, there's the painting. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Um, is this a replica? Ridiculously, I have no interest in anything but originals. That's right. Uh, there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Five million now. What kind of view does he have? This is the top floor of a 20 story building. It was quite presidential. Trophies everywhere. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges Special Runner Up Best Participation, Judges Cooperation Award, Special Good Try Prize. Oh my god, these are all like runner up trophies. Interesting. The words Judges and Special kind of stand out. A statue of, an, of a man holding up the world. The Blue Corps uh, sign certainly stands out enough. Why is it written in red? Oh, because his, his name is Red. Ah. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. And he's in green. I'm confused now. Truly a work of art, but probably too butaceous for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butaceous for just about anyone to appreciate. My goodness. Okay. Well, that seems to be everything. Let's chat with him. Miss May, do you know her? 
Miss May is an employee of Blue Cop, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear she was what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She's paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as times and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Okay. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he clearly does remember you very clearly. Hmm, no matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. It's, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, uh, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'll be capable of doing that. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Well, because obviously they're trying to prosecute Maya, <laughs> not prove her innocence. Uh, he should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the colour blue. Really? Yet you write the sign in red. I, Red White of Blue Corp, uh, as founder and CEO, named it so. Cool, and that's your statue in the back of Mr. White that is currently in green, holding up a sign saying Blue Cop that is in red. And I don't see any white anywhere. Or any blue. Weird. And why, you ask? Because I like the colour blue, of course. And your hair is purple. And you're wearing pink. Fantabulistic, is it not? Mm. So that painting in the background... Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there? I should probably ask when he got it. See if he lies about that. I mean, saying it's gorgeous, whatever. I've seen it before, he'll deny. When did you get it? When did you get that painting? Hmm. No idea. I forgot. You literally got it today. I've seen that painting before, yesterday in fact. Why did you find that paint? Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Huh? I'm a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that store. Uh, sorry, excuse for an attorney. <laughs> Groody Burger. Oh no. What? Ugh. Ugh. Oof. Did he just kick the shit out of us? He punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, hey? Charge me with assault. Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. Hey, Monk. Do I even want to know what this is? Yes, I think you do. This is a uh, detective, well not a detective game, this is a game where you play as a lawyer uh, called Phoenix Wright. It's from the Nintendo DS and it's now on the PC as a trilogy, remastered. So we're currently working a case. We're interviewing this guy as a potential either witness or suspect in a murder. Hmm, what? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding, so you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control he really possesses? I don't expect you to understand. It's a world beyond your comprehension. How are you today, anyway, Mum? Good to see you. You came here uh, from... Oh, it's Grody Burger, not Grody Burger. Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Gross Burger, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. 
Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now. Skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. Guess there isn't. <laughs>